Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and here we explore the fascinating world of arachnids. Today we're going to talk about the unique eating habits of tarantulas and how they digest their prey. If this is your first time, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Please don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. It definitely helps the video get out there to a wider audience. Tarantulas are carnivorous hunters, preying on insects, spiders, small mammals, and even reptiles. They use their powerful but hollow fangs to inject venom into their prey, immobilizing it. Tarantula venom works by affecting the nervous system of their prey. The venom contains various neurotoxins that disrupt the normal functioning of the nervous system, causing paralysis and even death. These neurotoxins can affect the transmission of nerve impulses, block the release of neurotransmitters, and cause the death of nerve cells. The venom also has other components that can cause pain, swelling, and other local effects. By quickly rendering their prey immobile and then dead, Tarantulas are able to more easily consume their meal. It's important to know that the drastic effect their venom has on their prey is not the same as the effect their venom has on humans. Because most tarantula venom is considered medically insignificant, meaning you don't have to go to the hospital or take antivenom or anything like that. It's very effective on small reptiles, mammals, and invertebrates, but doesn't have much of an effect on large mammals like humans. Once their prey is paralyzed, the tarantula begins to feed. Instead of chewing its food, tarantulas use their sharp fangs to rip the prey into smaller pieces, which is helped by a line of sharp teeth opposite their fangs that they crush their prey into while chewing. Digestion is then accomplished by coating the prey with digestive juices secreted from the openings in the chelicerae, and then they drink or absorb the bodily fluids through a narrow tube in their mouth that is connected to their sucking stomach. They strain the liquid through the hairs in their mouth and try to catch any solid objects before they make their way into the stomach. So they essentially pre-digest their food before it ever makes it into their body. This liquid goo is then ingested and passed into the tarantula's digestive system. Unlike humans who have a complex digestive system, tarantulas have a very simple system that breaks down the food into liquid form, making it easier for them to absorb the nutrients. Videos like this are only possible from people like you watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and also from the generous support of sponsors, like the sponsor of today's video, microwilderness.com. If you're looking for tarantula, scorpion, jumping spiders, or really any invertebrate and some reptiles, be sure to check out microwilderness.com. They have a wide variety of species and a whole lot of five-star reviews. I've been working with Nate from Micro Wilderness for a few years now. Not only is he a great guy, but he also takes really good care of his tarantulas. And if you use the code TTC10 at checkout, it's going to save you 10% off your entire order. So if you want to pick up a new tarantula, be sure to use the link down below in my description. And don't forget the code TTC10 at checkout. I get tarantulas from Micro Wilderness all the time, and I always have a great experience. So thanks again, Micro Wilderness, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to talking about tarantula digestion. The tarantula's digestive organ, or stomach, is a tube that runs the length of its body. When the sucking stomach's powerful muscles contract, the stomach inflates, creating a strong strong suction that permits the tarantula to drain its liquefied prey up through the mouth and into the intestines.
Once the liquefied food enters the intestines, it is broken down into particles small enough to pass into the bloodstream, or hemoglyph, through the intestinal walls. The nutrients are spread and absorbed throughout the body in this way. After feeding, the carcass of the prey is formed into a small ball called a bolus and disposed of by the tarantula. Any residual waste products are then evacuated through the tarantula's anus. So that's how tarantulas eat and digest their prey. These fascinating creatures have a unique and efficient way of processing their food, which allows them to safely thrive in their environments. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>